All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the first step to make a ba. Um, here we have a uh, salmon. Um, these, this is a uh, pretty much salmon pieces, uh, leftover pieces that you can find at the Asian market. Um, so we're gonna go to that. We're gonna go ahead and add in some salt. My dad told me. So we have about four tablespoons of salt. We have about five pounds of salmon. And you want to go ahead and squeeze in the salt into the fish. But so you have to really squeeze it in there. Okay, so um, after you squeeze in the salt, you want to go ahead and grab a, a ball of the salmon. And you want to give it a nice squeeze. Might you bite the chang? Bite the chang, or you took one But you're going to bite the chang with my. It's all yay. So you want to give it a real good squeeze. See all those uh, juice falling out. So you can keep it for a real long time. That's that's the main reason you really want to do this. Okay, guys. So after my mom squeezed um, the salmon of uh, all the juices, we want to go ahead and add in some roasted. We want to go ahead add in some roasted. Um, and then buy ling. Okay, so this is jasmine rice roasted and then it's blended in a blender. See how it's in like a powder substance or powder form. So you want to go ahead and add that in. So that's a, that was about two tablespoons. That's about four tablespoons. About six. About seven. About seven. Okay, so that was about seven to eight tablespoons of... Uh, this uh, powdered uh, roasted rice. So, uh, in order to make this is real, real simple, you just want to uh, roast the sa uh, the jasmine rice in a pan until it's nice and brown, and then you put it in a blender and you blend it. And that's pretty much it. So you want to go ahead and mix everything up nice, uh, nice and good. Okay, so now you guys want to go ahead and grab your jar and stuff it up with uh, So just go ahead and put it in the jar and okay, you fill it up. Okay guys, so the is done. It's uh, been about a month now. Uh, it's actually been over a month um, and it was, and depending on the weather condition of where you live, if it's hot or cold. Um, or you know warm or cold um, it will depend on how long this will actually take this took us about um, about 25 days you know and it's pretty cold here um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, serve it up and uh, to do that we're gonna have to steam it so I'm gonna go ahead and let my mom take over So, so right there we have some MSG, about a teaspoon of MSG, and that is uh, sugar. If you don't like it too sweet, you don't have to add um, any sugar at all. And right there we have some chopped up uh, garlic, and we have some uh, chopped up green onion. Okay guys, so we have a steamer uh, ready, uh, it's hot and ready, so we're going to go ahead and add in our ba'a into the steamer. What about you? I'm going to put the ba'a in the steamer. Yes, I'm going to put the ba'a in the steamer. Alright guys, so the ba'a has been steaming for about 10 minutes now, so we're going to go ahead and take it out. Since it's kind of hot, we're going to 
cut off the camera so I can uh, take it out. Okay. So plug that. Plug them. Okay. All right. So let's eat. All right, guys. So my mom's pa is done, and this is the salmon version. So uh, let's uh, give it a taste test. Got my rice, vegetables. I got uh, eggplant. I have cucumber, uh, fresh chili. Uh, you might eat it a little bit different. This is the way I like to eat it. So, so. Hale. 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 This bite right here is a month long wait bite. Very worth it. Look at all those juices just dripping down my fingers. Mm. Mm. One more for the camera. <laughs> 